Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I'm back at it again. I'm gonna be bringing you another junk food that everybody loves but minus the grease and a whole lot more flavor. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so before we actually start, it is important to note that this recipe does call for an egg. So if you're vegan and you wanna substitute that, you want to use one tablespoon of grounded uh, flaxseed with three tablespoons of water. So just mix that in there. You know? Can you see? And just mix that in there. It's gonna get nice and thick, kind of like an egg consist consistency. I don't know if you can see. So we're gonna toss that in the fridge for like 15 minutes. So just make sure to include this part in the recipe if you're a vegan. So now we're just gonna toss this in the microwave for about 8 minutes on high heat. So uh, me being me, I forgot to buy garlic powder. So here I have like a couple of garlics that I smashed together. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this instead, it should be fine. I also forgot about oregano. Now it's not really a big deal because how many of you guys actually eat like authentic pizza? If you eat authentic pizza all the time then you might notice that the oregano is missing, but if you don't then, like, shut up, whatever. Forget the oregano, it's still gonna taste like pizza, it'll be fine, okay? Now, I have the basil, so I didn't mess up completely, and I have the olive oil, so it'll be fine. On to the next step. Okay guys, so on to the next step. This step is kind of funky. So here I have a plate. You just need any container, it doesn't matter. And here I have a clean cloth, it's pretty thin, right? So. What you need is a clean cloth. So be careful because this thing is still hot. But place some on the cloth. Right? Now you want to wrap it up. Make sure it's wrapped quite well. And Squeeze the water out, but make sure it is, um, like, it is, uh, make sure you don't burn yourself is what I'm trying to say. Like, I have a good amount of cushion here, so I can squeeze into it. But the thing is that, like, I've burnt myself so many times in the past. I have quite literally have heat resistance. You know me, you know, they call me the dragon for nothing. Oh, actually, nobody calls me the dragon, but I, but I do have a high tolerance when it comes to heat. So like, I'm fine just doing this. But like, if you're if you don't have high heat tolerance, doing this will give you like second degree burns. So uh, if you're not used to heat, make sure you wrap this a few times, okay? And then just squeeze the water out. Okay, so I've transferred it into a bowl here, and as you can see, it kind of starts to look like dough a little bit. So we're gonna put in all our things now. So here I have my garlic powder, I guess. <laughs> right? I'm gonna put in some basil. I'm gonna add in a little bit of um, olive oil just for the smell. Put, don't put too much. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Just like maybe a teaspoon. It's just for the smell, guys. Okay? I'm gonna put a little bit more, whatever. So it's like two teaspoons. <laughs> I love all the oil. Let's season it with some pepper, salt, and pepper. And 
and then just give it a mix. Now let's put in our vegan egg. If you're not vegan, just use use one egg. If you're vegan, use this. So the consistency you're looking for is like a dough, basically. I mean, it's not gonna be exactly like a dough, but it will be similar. Here I have a baking tray with the oil. I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil here. The rubric this thing. So now we're gonna take our pizza dough. So we want to spread it out. So I know the dough doesn't look that big, but we're trying to make a thin crust pizza. So this will spread out a lot more than you think. And don't mess up the shape like anything. So yeah, just you can use the stretching strategy from my other pizza video. You know, you kind of put your fingers down. Yeah, like, like that. Okay. Okay, so here's the dough. I spread it out as much as I could. So <laughs> I have a measuring tape here because you wanna, because like with the amount of ingredients we have, we want the diameter to be about 20 to 25 centimeters. So if it's like 15, if, if your pizza is only 15 centimeters in diameter, then you know it's too thick. Okay, so I'm gonna check mine. So as you can see, it's about 23, that's that's around the range I wanted at. So now we're going to toss this guy in the oven. Okay, so it's in there. So we're only going to have the oven at 200 to 230 degrees. I'm using 230 degrees. It's so thin and it's not dough, it's just called flour, it's going to get, it's going to cook really fast. So about 230 degrees 10 to maybe 15 minutes is all we need uh, make sure to check back in on it in 10 minutes if it's not fully done put it back for five more but you know around that ballpark so we are back okay guys so it actually took me almost 20 minutes to get this nice and firm so the crust has been forming on the bottom now we're gonna put in our toppings so I'm going to put in this tomato paste. I'm not going to go too much detail into it. It's a really simple paste. It's just a um, tomato, a little bit of seasoning. If you want to really know how to make this, I don't, I don't mind the label. It's just like I made it. I was storing it in here. So yeah. Um, if you want to know how like the actual recipe for the sauce, you can watch my other pizza video. I'll link it in the description. If you want any detailed steps, that's in there. This video is just about this crust, really. I'm gonna put some onions, you know? This is the part of the pizza where you can have fun with it. Put whatever the hell you want or don't want don't put what you don't want obviously I'm gonna put some onions a couple slices of tomatoes boom boom and then I'm just gonna sprinkle my mozzarella cheese obviously you can't have pizza without the cheese Well, you can. Some people actually do make pizza with cheese, which is interesting. You don't even need the sauce, really. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna toss this back in the oven for like five to ten minutes. Put it for five. Check how it's looking. If it's not done, throw it back in for another five. So, be right back. Okay, here we have it, guys. The final product. 
it's smelling really good. If only YouTube had smell vision. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. This was our nice and easy guide to vegan cauliflower pizza or just cauliflower pizza in general or just healthy pizza in general. So hope you guys enjoyed. Nice and easy, but more importantly, nice and lazy.